Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Jason from Straight Edge Knives. I'm here with Mike from Stroop Knives, and he's here to walk us through some of the new prototypes and products that are going to be coming soon from Stroop Knives. Mike, what do you got for us today? All right, so uh, the first thing I'd like to show you is this. these are our ultralight non-metallics. Um, there's not one bit of metal anywhere on there. Um, you know, uh, injection molded, Zytel bl uh, blades, Tidex sheath, no metal anywhere um, on that hardware. Uh, so those are plastic bolts and screws? Yes. You know, they offer good retention, but they're also easy to draw when needed. Um, next thing uh, I'd like to show you is this is our new uh, Mark II knife that, we're, that we just put out. We uh, unveiled this here at JOT Show. Um, it's a rubber G10 hybrid grip. So the wetter it gets, the more grippy it gets. Nice hook there for your pinky, so it's not going to get lost on you whenever you're using it. Uh, with a cool swedge. And then also... We are uh, in partnership with a couple of companies, so we have some PSA knives here. Uh, if you're familiar with them, Palmetto State Armory. These are a couple of knives that we make for them, so we can make knives for you and your business if that's, if that's something you're interested in. Okay. And then also Faro Concept, who has the booth right next to us. These are a couple of knives that we're making for them right now. Awesome. So, so are those available? Like, so these are are these, these available now at Palmetto State Armory? Yes, they are. So they're available through Palmetto State and through Faro Concepts. We don't actually sell these knives. Um, the rest of our stuff is on this table. Okay. And then we have all of our flagship models, as well as we're now offering wood handles for all of our all of our models. So this is probably our uh, best-selling model, our Bravo 5. Oh, nice. And then now we're doing all wood handles for everything. And then, so when they, whenever they go to order a knife, they, the, that option's available. You can choose your yes. handle still. So. Choose their material, uh, whether it be wood, G10, um, whatever we offer for that particular knife. And then we're also offering some rescue tools. So we have a nice prying edge here, a uh, belt cutter. And everything you see is done by hand in-house by us. Uh, every sheath is pressed to the blade that goes in it. And then we offer check lock belt clips. Okay, awesome. For everybody, depending on how you like to carry your uh, blades. And then we also offer a serrated version of the same product. Awesome. So on the on your blades, there are they they they're probably water jet are they water jet cut it out? But then when they yeah. come to you guys, you're putting all the bevels and yeah, so initial grinds and everything on. Their water jet cuts our specifications, and everything you see beyond that point is done in house by us. We heat treat them, we grind every bevel, we texture all the blades that you. So everything you see texture wise is done by us. Yeah, that's and kind of like your guys' signature look. Is that? Yeah, like all of our stuff we texture for the most part, um, except for this new knife. But other than that, all of our stuff is pretty much textured. But even even with this one, I would I would just at a first glance, I would and after seeing your guys' products at Blade Show West and here, I would go, you know, that's a shoot knife. You know, like yeah. it's just you yeah. get that that dark finish is just kind of very distinctive look distinctive and feel. To, to your your guys' brand. You know? That's and tumbled. We like that uh, worn in, you not used the look, but just uh, aesthetic. Yeah. yeah. And this rubber grip does feel that, that's that's really my favorite cool. thing that we make now. And I got I wear XL glove hands like and this thing fits my hand perfect. Like Yeah, we're uh, we're trying to make products that everybody can use. Yeah, and then we have some uh, bigger options down on this side of the table. Thank you. Yeah. So, you know, like our BK1, a couple pry tools, and then I would, one of our more popular items so that's our ultra is our SD1, it's our stabber uh, dagger. You know, same deal with the texturing, uh, bevels ground. And so it's got a chisel, chisel ground edge? Yeah, chisel ground edge. And that's one of the most popular things we're doing right now. So the, you got the little pry tool. And then we offer a pry tool and a narrow and a wide variety, so it's a little bit bigger for whatever you need it for. And these are great because they, they sit on a kit well. We sell molly webbing uh, clips as well, so not just the tech locks, uh, you street carry clips. So depending on how you want to carry our products, uh, we have something for you. Out of curiosity, are those TSA legal, do you know? And I know like on TSA, like with flying, you can carry screwdrivers and things like that, but I think they have to be under seven inches. Would, uh, would the pry tool be TSA legal for flying? I know there's like, you can carry tools, but I'm, I'm curious. I would check with the TSA website because, um, you know, other companies will make, uh, Leatherman has a, almost a rebar without the blade and it's legal. 
for this, I think it might be questionable. Questionable. But Do you want to risk losing a hundred and something dollar tool right. at the TSA? So, yeah. I would I would recommend, you know, you can always get like one of those multi tools yeah. or even uh, you know, bring your flashlight and all that. Yeah. No, it's just question. You know, I know a lot of guys are looking at pry tools and stuff now, stuff that they can carry. You know, on planes and things like that. So, yeah, you know, better safe than you know, sorry. You know, you know, you got to seatbelt gets stuck. You got to be able to get that thing open, jump out of the plane, right? You know? Yeah, so. of course. So, a few more of our offerings. Like I showed you the Stanford Dagger. This is our desert box. Uh, pretty popular model. Anytime we take it anywhere, we sell out of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah um, you didn't have any of these at Blade Show West. Yeah, probably. And then now, I mean, we bring it everywhere. Um, this is personally what I carry. It's my favorite model that we make. Um, so, I'm just out carrying that at the moment. But then we have all of our other uh, regular flagship kind of uh, production models that people are very familiar with. That a lot of people come by and tell us. Yeah, you know, I did a review on the T1. Um, I have a review on that on my channel. Then I have a review of the GP3 on my channel as well. Yeah. How do you like the wood handle? Well, the wood handle is nice. Yeah. Like if that would have been an option when I bought mine, I probably would have got it. But yeah, that wasn't uh, available at the time. Yeah, that's uh, it's, it's becoming a favorite. Uh, everyone that sees it, you know, they, they want to buy one. So yeah, we, we like to give people options. No, will the will the wood handle skills be like an option you can buy after there, the fact? Like, um, like, could I go online and order a set for my GP3? No, but you could send us your knife and we can. Make and it happen the, okay, because they're pretty much shaped to the blade. They're made specifically, specifically for the knife they go on. So it'd be, but we—that's something we can make happen for you. Oh, okay. We like to, you know, we pride ourselves on our customer service. Yeah. So it's, it's always an option. Everything's made in the USA, honestly. Oh, yeah. That's your own company, right? Yeah. Awesome. So, Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, it's good to meet you. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of great stuff, guys. Guys, definitely go over and check out StroopKnives.com. I'll have a link in the description below to the website. Um, where else can you buy? Buy directly from Stroop, and then you could also buy the uh, Knife Center or. Uh, I believe Knife Center is talking about Knife Works, a few other distributors. Um, Rambo's the guy for that. Uh, oh, if you okay. have those questions, but I'll, I'll find out and I'll leave links. But, but I'll leave links in the description below. You, you search for us, you'll find us. We're not hard yeah. to find. Cool, awesome, Mike. Well, thank you. I appreciate you taking the time to show us the new products. Oh, there is one thing you forgot to show us. What's that? It's in your pocket. Oh, it's the folder, yeah. <laughs> of course. So this is our new folder, uh, Bravo Five folder prototype. So we're uh, taking orders uh, early as 90 days out. Uh, it's modeled for a Bravo 5 knife. Nice. And you guys are making these all in-house too, right? That's yes. Definitely excited to be able to expand. That's a difficult task, man. Folders are tricky sometimes. Yeah. That's I mean, awesome. You guys are making them all yourself. Yeah. Like I said, it's very rough draft, but we, we love it so far. Yeah. And that's why it's not sharp yet. But... Uh, <laughs> Cool. Yeah, that's the new thing we're offering. So, uh, awesome. those are going to be available soon. You said, sorry, they'll, they'll be available soon. Oh yeah, uh, next 60 to 90 days. 60, 90, okay. Yeah, we're already taking orders. So. On the um, the other newer knives, are the, are how far out are those? Oh, everything as soon as as soon as we can make it. So as soon as you order, we can get it for you. Oh, okay, awesome. All right. Yeah. Well, all, thanks again, Mike. Appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. Absolutely. All right, you guys have a good shot show. We'll see you all next time. Stay safe. Stay sharp.